I spend a little bit of time looking at uh, solving trig equations, how we go about it. So tan theta is minus 2.3673, and I suppose, okay, we pull out a calculator. Unfortunately, a calculator, of course, is only going to give you one possible answer. And how many answers are there to this question? Incorrect. Infinite. Well, I haven't specified where we're looking for answers. So you can only assume we're looking for all possible answers. And there are, in fact, an infinite number of answers. That's why normally we should see where we're looking for solutions. Now, if I am looking between 0 and 360, then fair enough. There are two. So the process when solving a trig equation, first step is to work out, okay, where are we on our, our picture? And so, of course, 10 is negative in the second and the fourth quadrant. We then have to work out what the acute angle. Well, it's sort of a throwback, I guess, to um, the, when we use tables. And remember I said in the tables, the only thing that they had there was acute angles. So we work out the acute angle. So we don't worry about the negative. Uh, 70, uh, 70, 67 degrees, 6 minutes. And then we piece these two information, pieces of information together. Okay, the acute angle is 67.6. I like to draw myself up a little diagram and say, OK, well, if I'm in the second quadrant and the fourth quadrant, the acute angle goes to the horizontal. So I know I'm 180 minus the acute angle. I'm 360 uh, minus the acute angle. So subbing in, I can get my two answers. 112.54, 292.54. OK. So cos theta equals a half. Ah, this time I have said between 0 and 360. So again, I say, OK, I'm in the first or the fourth quadrant. Work out my acute angle is 60 degrees. Okay, so in the first quadrant, it's just the acute angle, but in the fourth one, we're 360 minus, so 60, 300. Cosec equals four. Now, before I solve this, because our calculator only handles sine cos 10, we'll rewrite this question to be sine theta is a quarter. So just you know, turn it upside down. Sine is positive, first and second quadrant. So whoop, there's my little diagram. So I know the acute angle is 14 degrees 29, so my answer will be the acute angle for the first quadrant, 180 minus that for the second quadrant. Ooh, hang on a sec, this is a little bit trickier, but it's just an equation. At the end of the day, any equation, we try and make the pronumeral the subject. Now when we're dealing with trig, then not only the pronumeral, but the ratio that is associated with it. We make it, so sine x, becomes the subject. There it is, sine x, negative a half. So third and fourth quadrant this time. Acute angle is 30 degrees. So we get, in this case, 210, 330. Uh-oh, two ratios. What on earth can we do? Well, this is a fairly common sort of one where on one side it's sine and one side it's cos. And in this case, I'll just divide both sides by cos turning it into 10. Now, I can only do that if I know what? Right, as long as I know cos theta, it's not possible for it to equal zero. Because if it was, then I'd be dividing by zero, because you can't do that. But in this case, that is not a possible solution. All right, so in this case, we know, yep, it is okay to divide by the cos theta. And now we just got a basic one to solve. Tens in the second and the fourth quadrant. Acute angle, 2148. And that gets us our two possible answers. Oh, cos 2 theta. Well, that's all right. Before I can find out what theta is, I'll find out what 2 theta is. However, how many solutions? There's now four solutions because... We're looking for solutions where theta goes between 0 and 360. So 2 theta will be between 0 and 720. So we're going around the circle twice looking for solutions. So it'll be the first and the fourth, still all the same. Acute angle, 4125. First quadrant or the fourth quadrant, 360 minor, minor, minus. But this time, we add 360 to both of those answers because we're going around twice. So 41.25, 318.35, 401.25, 678.35. Now, 
It's the last step we divide by the two. Divide everything by two. We got four answers and they all lie between naught and 360. Whoa. Sex squared plus tan is equal to three. All right, it wasn't like that other one where I had two two trig ratios and it was like equals I could divide and play with that. But we know our trig identity. I can rewrite sex squared as one plus tan squared. So we end up with a quadratic equation. The pro numeral is tan theta. So just like any uh, quadratic, what multiplies together to give negative two, adds together to give one, two and negative one. I've now got two possibilities. Either tan theta is negative two, or tan theta is equal to one, and I just go and solve both of those. So tan theta is negative two, second or fourth quadrant. Cute angle, 6326. So we end up with 116.34, 296.34. Now we look at our other possibility. Tan theta is one, which is positive, so first and third. 45 degrees for our acute, 45 and 225. We don't leave it like that. We have to write a final solution down. So we rewrite them all. I think it makes sense to put them in numerical order myself. So 45, 116, 34, and so on. All right, oh, actually that was the last example. So there we go, 4G, 1AF. Oh, 15's got an asterisk. Hey, that'll be a good one.